So, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Pranjal Saxena from Dissection. So, this is, this is the first video. So, let me just tell you that what we will post on this channel. What kind of videos we will, we will post on this channel. So, we will make videos of disassembling the common devices that you have in your homes like uh, printers chargers mobile chargers pen drives or anything like mobile phones paper cutters anything so that people can just get encouraged to do a postmortem of certain things and find out how the things work so for this introductory video uh, today i'm uh, going to dissect this pen drive the, these two pen drives this is 1 gb pen drive and this is 8 gb data data traveler kingston pen drive so let's just start so as you can see a black color pen drive now this is a lever kind of cover now let's just you can see that there's some gap here so if i just put my finger in i can just loosen it up and it will come out okay now so now this is the pen drive now one most basic tool that you will be using for opening things up will be a tester a screwdriver so there are no screws here but we can open it using this screwdriver okay let's just try well i have opened this pen drive uh, a lot more times before that is why it's so easy to open but if you are opening it for the first time you will have to put some pressure on the edges okay so this is the pen drive opened up now here you can see this pcb now oh, let's just Okay, so camera is not focusing on the chip, this black colored chip, so let's just leave it. So if I take the this board out of this cover, okay, so this is the pen drive. Now you can see that there are four common things, four most prominent things that you can see. One is this black colored, this chip, the other is this one. and the third is this cylindrical kind of thing and this is the usb port usb sorry uh, usb whatever you say plug and this board so there are five things five major things in there okay so let's just try to open the other one let's just keep it keep it aside now for the first time i was opening it i just tried to put my tester here and pop it out pop this cover out but i was not able to so i just flipped it and then tried to do it here and as i had to do some you know i had to apply some force and after some time i was able to open it from here i had to apply some pressure then here and ev from every where you can just figure it out okay so it's just open but this is not the first time i am opening it that is why it's so easy to open otherwise if you are doing it for the first time just take a little care that you just don't put this tester uh, you don't uh, you just you just don't force this tester too much so that it damages the parts inside okay otherwise it just it just gets inside and it damages other things so your pen drive will be lost not lost but damaged okay so these are the two pen drives okay so the common common thing is this small black chip here and this bigger black chip here and you can just see that there was this cylindrical thing 
in this one GB pen drive, but it is not there in this one. It's just nowhere. So I'll just give a link in this video, in which I'll. On that link, if you go, you will see some basic block diagrams or some basic knowledge of what these chips are and how do they work and what do they work what do they do actually uh, so just let me just explain it to you so this is the normal this is a simple microcontroller which controls how to uh, which controls the uh, input of data and uh, writes it to this memory chip okay so this is the memory chip this is 1g memory chip and this is 8g memory chip so the capacity of your drive depends upon this memory chip itself this is a flash chip that's why we call it this is a flash memory chip that is why we call these drives usb drives as flash drives also okay so what is this cylindrical thing this cylindrical thing i suppose is the crystal yeah what a crystal does is crystal oscillator a crystal oscillator sends out pulses uh, actually it oscillates that's why it gives out electrical waves and due to those uh, those electrical waves helps in coordinating uh, the data or you can say that how and when the data will be written and how when the instructions will be there are many things you know uh, instructions and data which are actually synchronized by the waves coming out uh, from the crystal oscillator in this pen drive i can't see any crystal oscillator mm. so there must be some internal oscillator in the microcontroller itself so that's it so these are the two pen drives as you can see 8 GB and 1 GB and you can see that this is an older pen drive and this is a newer one so we can just notice that the change in technology in this pen drive you will see many many things a lot of things a lot of other components okay and in this one you will see a few uh, some fewer components or maybe they are very small too tiny to be seen that's why they are looking very less so with the development the things go on uh, the things go on shrinking okay so this is how we can open up a pen drive and you can just keep it like that only uh, no need to put your covers again because it looks cool like this and I don't think it will get damaged so easily you can just put it anywhere in your pocket in your wallet in your bag so that was the first video on dissection and uh, we just opened up a pen, pen drive and you can just go to that link and find out how a pen drive actually works and there are some videos on youtube also so i'll just uh, post the link in the description thank you